So we have studied uh, the atomic radii, electronegativity, electron gain enthalpy, <coughs> ionization energy. Now we'll be studying about the metallic property of your p block elements. So basically, when I speak about metallic property, so what are metals actually? Yeah, metals are those which have the ability to donate electrons. That is the reason they are lustrous in nature because of the excitation of electrons. So metallic metals, as I say, they donate or lose electrons, and non-metals are those which try to accept those electrons from the metals. Correct. So when I speak about your p-block elements now. In this particular table, if I speak now, from here, aluminium, gallium, indium, tin, thallium, lead, bismuth, all these are metals. And the one which is marked, as you have studied in your grade uh, 9, 10 also, 10, periodic classification of metal uh, elements, these are all called metalloids. And after this, so this whole range where I am speaking about this particular thing is till here. All these are metals. The one which is marked for the, the zigzag way of representation are metalloids. And from here, carbon, all these, I should say even this, all these, are, they come under the category called non-metals. Non-metals. So this is metal. This is metalloid and the leftover are non-metals. What? Why did I conclude like that? Metallic property basically it depends upon the size. Yes, if the size is larger, I can it can easily donate electrons. If the size is smaller, nuclear force of attraction acts on that. I can't it can't release electrons or donate electrons. So same concept. This metallic property when I speak in terms of period, left to right. I said when I see the metallic property from left to right is decreasing. Why? Because atomic size is decreasing. Same thing. Nuclear force of attraction increases. When nuclear force of attraction increases, can it easily donate electron? Not possible. When it can't donate electron, which property is uh, like more? Metallic or non-metallic? Non-metallic property, correct? Metallic means it has to release electrons. But here, what's happening? The nucleus is trying to pull the outermost electron. Hence, metallic property decreases. That's why I wrote all our non-metal here. Now, when I just observe it in a group, yes, this is your group, correct? Now, what are you observing? All are metals. So, in a group, the metallic property is increasing. Now, tell me, you can also easily say, atomic size increases, nuclear force of attraction decreases. So, when the outermost shell is not, I means it's far away from the nucleus, it can easily donate, isn't it? Hence, metallic property increases and non-metallic property decreases. So, should you also write here, non-metallic property increases, correct? Opposite, right? Metallic property means donating, non-metallic property means accepting. So, here from left to right, can't donate. It can accept because the nuclear force of attraction is trying to pull the electron. So, in a group, atomic size larger, it can easily release that and donate that electron. Hence, metallic property increases, non-metallic property decreases. So, that is what I have written. Now, metalloids, as we know, I will be taking a class in metalloids also, which show the property of both metals and non-metals. As of now, remember, because this is only in the introduction video. So, <coughs> let us conclude. So, we have done the metallic property. So, we will meet you again with the oxidizing property. Very interesting topic. So, please note it. Uh, let us learn this concept now. This is the last trend or last uh, uh, property of your uh, P block element. We have already done ionization enthalpy, we have uh, done the electronegativity, electron gain enthalpy, atomic radii, metallic property, non metals, metalloids. So, let us come back and learn this last topic that is oxidizing properties. So, what actually is oxy oxidizing property? Let us see. So, whenever I say or whenever I speak about oxidizing property, basically I have to know what is an 
uh, what is uh, the process of oxidation what is the process of reduction right what is the meaning of uh, your oxidizing uh, agent and what is the meaning of reducing agent first i have to know this then i can easily explain now basically when i say oxidation means loss of electrons correct reduction means gain of electrons right now oxidizing agents are those which undergo reduction means they get reduced when why do they get reduced because they are gaining electrons correct reducing agents are those which undergo or they will get oxidized because they have lost electrons remember this it's opposite oxidation means that which undergoes that is a reducing agent reduction means that is the oxidizing agent remember this now when i have i have a list of uh, electrode potentials what are these this is called standard electrode potential value or standard electrode potential chart not i have not done the complete potential chart here but which is required for you p block i have made it so this standard electrode potential chart you have a chapter super chapter called electrochemistry in grade 12 so what what is the use of this this basically explains you or gives you the information whether the particular uh, uh, element is an acting as an oxidizing agent or reducing agent correct yes now i have done i've prepared two lists one list is <coughs> in a group from top to bottom this is your group 17 right halogens now here i've gone from left to right in the period so now observe here what is happening to fluorine it is accepting or gaining electrons isn't it that's why it has become minus here also it is gaining electrons gaining electrons gaining electrons so when something is gaining electrons what is what are these called what is this property called oxidizing property correct or oxidizing property or oxidizing agents yes. let me come back here electrode potential value when i am going from left to right now what what is happening here it is lost it has lost electrons no three electrons when something has lost electrons what do i call loss of electrons is oxidation and what property is this reducing property reducing property now again here what happened it has gained electron so what is this acting as oxidizing agent or oxidizing property now let us start when i go from top to bottom always oxidizing properties are shown by the plus values in the electrode cell yes we do that we i'll show you uh, when you come to your grade 12 oxidizing just as of now remember the oxidizing property when <coughs> is shown by the plus sign and the reducing property is shown by the minus sign right remember that as of now because once i start explaining electrochemistry again it will completely get diverted from your p block element so that's the reason first as of now remember oxidizing uh, property property or oxidizing agent or the electrode potentials are shown by plus and reducing by minus now when i go from top to bottom in the uh, group what is happening to the oxide or electrode potential value it is decreasing correct so isn't it decreasing so what should i write in a group the oxidizing property decreases in a period when i say towards uh, your left to right yeah what is happening in a period the oxidizing property increases when i see the value it's going no, from negative it is going to positive yes so in a period the electrode potential value clearly shows me in a period it increases in a group it decreases that means whenever i'm going from top to bottom it is easy for me to yeah, uh, gain electrons yes because of the atomic uh, uh, this one uh, uh, your size right so here you have one thing you have to remember from top to bottom your oxidizing property decreases from left to right it obviously right oxidizing property means your uh, gain of electrons it increases that shows in the electrode potential value remember this concept it is easy for you i have related it with your electrode potential values or standard electrode potential value or table yes